Hey guys, today I'll be sharing with you four easy to recreate make ahead type breakfast recipes. Two of them even being savory ones. This first idea is for peanut butter breakfast cookies. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. To a large mixing bowl, add all the dry ingredients and mix them together. Small cut oats, ground almonds, salt, baking powder, semi-ground flax seeds, cinnamon, and sunflower seeds. In a separate small bowl, combine natural peanut butter, or just regular peanut butter, melted coconut oil, and liquid sweetener of choice. Also vanilla. Combine the wet and the dry. At first use a spatula, then switch to my hands. Once it looks something like this, like wet granola, add any other fillings you like. I went for a handful of apple chunks. You could add raisins, chopped dates, coconut chips, chocolate chips, cranberries, pumpkin seeds. To form one cookie, take a handful of the cookie mix, tightly form it into a ball, and then press it down carefully onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Bake them for 12 to 14 minutes. These are so good. Let them cool down completely and store them sealed tightly in the fridge for up to four days. For this breakfast to be like a grab and go situation, you obviously would have to make these the night before. I'm not sure I said that earlier, just so the title makes any sense. Okay, on to the next one. These are roasted tomato bean and cucumber toasts. There's two parts to this. So two things you're gonna prepare the night before, starting with the bean tomato dip. Have the oven be preheated to 200 degrees Celsius. Cut three larger sized tomatoes into eights. Add those to a casserole dish alongside one small chopped onion, salt, and vegetable or olive oil. Mix in the oil, then let this roast in the oven for about 25 minutes. Take out the dish, add a couple tablespoons of sunflower seeds, and then put this back into the oven for another 10 to 15. Then grab a food processor and add the roasted tomatoes and sunflower seeds. And then all the other ingredients for the spread. So a half a can of kidney beans, tahini, soy sauce, mustard, spices of choice, tomato puree, lots of lemon juice, and balsamic vinegar. Blend it up until smooth or until your desired stage of consistency is achieved. Now onto the cucumber part. You can actually put this together while the tomatoes are in the oven. You'll need a cucumber. Either cut it into very fine slices by hand or use one of these slicing gadgets to do it. Ooh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> also finely mince half of a small onion. For the dressing, mix together soy yogurt, soy cream, which can be replaced by more soy yogurt, white wine vinegar, spices of choice, and soy sauce. Add this to the cucumber and onion, mix it all together, transfer all this to a jar, place it into the fridge next to the tomato spread, and then it'll both be there for you when you want to make breakfast. This bean sauce also tastes super nice if you reheat it and have it in like a rice and veggie tofu bowl or with potatoes and greens. So many options. I've been wanting to make my own vegan feta for the longest time. This next recipe is not gonna be that. I intended to make vegan feta but ended up with yet another tasty tofu cream cheese variation that I needed to share with the world. Add the following ingredients to your food processor. The juice of one lemon, one 200 gram block of firm plain tofu, a tablespoon of olive oil. This next ingredient can be omitted for all the people hating on pickles. It's pickle juice, yeah. 
I've seen vegan cheese companies add olive extract to their products, and so pickle juice was kind of the closest ingredient I had for that. Also add white wine vinegar, salt, onion powder, and melted coconut oil. Blend until smooth, scraping on the sides a few times. Taste test and adjust the flavor. Transfer this to a glass jar. I used some lunchbox, but I would recommend to go with glass instead. Smooth out the top and put this into the fridge overnight. So in my opinion, the taste faintly resembles feta cheese. If you want to be able to like slice it properly, you could just add more coconut oil. I didn't do that though, because I didn't want the tofu to just taste of coconut oil. So I'm still in the process of figuring out how to do that without the coconut oil. If you have any idea, let me know in the comments. For this last and final recipe, we're making baked chocolate oatmeal, or alternate title, healthier breakfast brownies. Firstly, we'll need some dates, which you're gonna pour hot water over and let sit for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, preheat the oven, line a brownie pan, or in my case, the casserole dish from earlier, with parchment paper. Combine all the dry ingredients, oats, salt, semi-ground flag seeds, ground almonds, which you can substitute for more oats or flour if you want to keep this nut free, unsweetened cacao powder, and baking powder. For the wet ingredients, blend up the now drained dates into a sticky paste using a food processor. It's totally fine if there's some chunks in there, add applesauce, vegetable oil, vanilla, and agave or maple rice syrup. Blend again. Add the date mixture to the oats, and also add some non-dairy milk. I didn't add the milk before because I wanted to see how much liquid the mix needed. Feel free to add it in earlier. Then add the contents to the baking pan, smooth out the top, and if you wish, add some toppings of choice. Kind of press them into the, the, the mixture a little bit. Um, and then bake this for about 30 minutes. Let it cool off for at least 20 minutes before cutting it into squares. Since you're probably gonna make this the night before anyway, you can just let it cool overnight. This is so yummy. It is handheld oatmeal, basically. It's great. Also, it makes for a delicious smoothie bowl topping, or you can crumble it into your muesli. Highly recommend. And that concludes today's breakfast ideas. If you choose to try any of these, it would be so cool if you could share it with me and the world over on Instagram. That's a really great way to support my channel next to watching the videos. Um, yeah, so thank you so much. Oh, and hi to all the new people that have subscribed recently. I see you. Talk to you all very soon. Bye.